I remember when I was a kid, there was this huge controversy regarding Dragon Ball. Parents were freaking out about the violent content from within that cartoon. And I remember there was an episode uh, on Namek where Frieza impales Krillin in his horn and then starts bouncing him around on his head, uh, obviously in a very obscene display of violence. And parents were shocked, and rightfully so, because they believe that uh, children may reproduce that type of behavior in the playground and may get themselves injured. And there were cases where children actually did reproduce stuff that they saw on television. Uh, one such accident involves the show Jackass, where uh, a car tied a string to a merry-go-round, and as they drive by, uh, everyone on the merry-go-round was pushed in the air. But that was done by professionals. When someone tried to reproduce that at home, uh, they ended up in a hospital. So back then, there was like this huge uh, moral panic about violence in entertainment. However, uh, there was no such problem about sexuality. Um, I remember shows like Teen Titans and uh, many other American cartoons like X-Men where they showed cleavage, they showed booba, they showed ass. Uh, as long as you didn't have the characters actually having sex on, on the screen, it was perfectly acceptable for teenagers to watch. And uh, once you managed to get to adulthood, once you were 18, then uh, you could even watch slasher movies. Uh, there were a lot of films back in the day that actually showed actresses naked with, with booba on the screen. Uh, so back when the Christians were in charge, back during the Bush era, uh, people weren't prudish at all regarding sexuality. But now you notice a very bizarre trend taking place, a very weird uh, combination of the two, I guess, where... Uh, first of all, violence is completely fine. Like, no one cares about violent content, I, I, especially if it's not in fiction. I haven't seen anyone freaking out over a TV show, a movie, or a video game that has too much violence. Uh, sexuality is being heavily promoted as well, especially if it involves real people. Uh, I have seen on Twitch recently, on the main page, there was a lady that was painting her boobs. And I would like to point out that Twitch uh, is made for 13 and up, I believe. And, you know, like, it, it was definitely a sexual environment in which she was painting her booba. Uh, but there is demand for LGBTQ representation in cartoons and in, in different types of mediums. Uh, stuff like Drag Kids Story Hour is being promoted and requested. Uh, you have on Netflix various shows like uh, AJ and the Queen. Uh, there is a show called Big Mouth where uh, you have... Minors pretty much being depicted in, in various sexual situations, right? So like while that is happening, like I'm, I'm not casting moral judgment in this video. All I'm saying is that it is happening. It is taking place. Like sexuality is being promoted. However, stuff that has uh, to do with anime, stuff that's fictional, is being incredibly suppressed. I mean, I, I haven't seen suppression like this uh, even during the Christian era. Like during the Bush administration, and I would say that even during World War II, you had pilots that would paint uh, cartoon ladies on their plane, and that was fine back then. But now the moral panic is at such a level that there are weirdos on Twitter that are saying that if you like My Hero Academia, which is a mainstream anime show that everyone watches, uh, then you're a pedophile. Because apparently, I'm not kidding, like these people exist and they are quite significant in numbers. But they are claiming that the characters that are under the age of 18, like the, the girls from My Hero Academia are between the age of 16 and 18, and their costumes are too revealing. Right, they're, they're, they're problematic. And uh, because the show is very similar to, I guess, like Teen Titans Go from back in the day, um, they know that you are a pedophile and they will tag the FBI. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, this is... But, but still, right? Like, this is the culture that we're having. So the question is, like, why? Why is this happening? And the answer is that they do not like the fact that Japan is competing with the West. They don't like the fact that My Hero Academia is dominating and outselling Western comic books. Uh, and uh, it's not the fact that uh, My Hero Academia has politics in it. And by the way, the politics of My Hero Academia is the power of friendship, uh, that you need to appreciate your parents, and even though you have, like, difficulty in your family, you can try and work through it, uh, that uh, good 
triumphs over evil, you know, horrible politics like that, but they're not the Western politics. They're not the politics that America would want you to have. So, so that's why they're really upset. Uh, but secondly, and, and I said this before, and this article proves that I'm right, they do not like the fact that fiction is competing with real women. So they do not like the fact that uh, an actual woman that puts herself out there on Twitch or on Chatterbait or on all these other places, they do not enjoy the fact that she now has to compete with a Japanese artist or someone that just makes some doodles, right? So what, what I find fascinating is like how many right-wingers are becoming useful idiots in this? Like they literally believe that somehow if they remove uh, hentai, I guess, from Twitter or they remove it from these other places... Everyone is going to become a, a moral citizen. Society will improve. When in reality, all you're going to do is you're going to push people to Netflix. You're going to push people to other places. Like, there is a demand in the market for lewdness. You, you will not manage to fix it by trying to crack down on cartoons. Like, all you're going to do is you're going to push all these individuals to real people. So now it's someone's daughter that's going to put herself out there in order to get bits and super chats from someone's son. All right, like this is what you're doing. If, if you're aware of this, that's fine. You know, like if you think this is a great thing, that's fine. Uh, Left-leaning people know that this is being done and, and they're doing it on purpose. Uh, but if you want to ally with them and this is like what, what you want to do for Jesus or inshallah or whatever, okay, fine. But know that uh, this is what you're accomplishing. And, and to prove that this is the case, uh, first of all, you have Vice Magazine making the article um, inside the pedophilic anime industry, which they disabled the comment section so people couldn't point out the misinformation that they did there. And at the same time, they're also getting a Pulitzer Prize for that misinformation. And that was also bad in Japan. So like, they, there is a strong push from the media in order to try to censor anime to make it uh, unpalatable. Like the same thing that they did with video game is racist and sexist. Now they're trying to say that anime is pedophilic. And at the same time, whatever social media is cracking down on not safe for work involving real people. Oh, then the media starts defending the real people, right? So like they would never defend cartoons or artists or, or anyone that does drawings. And again, like if, if you're quantifying the evil, right? Like if you're, if you're a Christian person and you're looking at the evil that's doing to society... Well, one of them involves cartoons. The other one involves, again, like someone's daughter trying to get super chats from someone's son. I guarantee to you that the mother of that son isn't very happy that he is spending uh, the, the finances on the internet in, in that manner, right? Like, if you have to compare the evil, which, which one is worst, right? And don't tell me you're against both of them because uh, good luck going against the mainstream industrial complex. Uh, but all jokes aside, like you, you get to notice that whenever Twitter is cracking down on uh, not safe for work involving real people, articles immediately pop up to the defense. Now, the reason this is happening, and, and I do think that it is uh, by accident, uh, due to the European Union filing an injunction on Twitter claiming that they are spreading... Uh, misinformation and extremist content, but they don't really show where that misinformation and extremist content is. I would like to point out that as a Twitter user, I don't see it, and whenever I do see some misinformation, it's either from the mainstream media itself, so not on Twitter, or it's getting community notes. Like, community notes have been doing an excellent job in uh, debunking misinformation. But this is why probably the European Union doesn't show examples, because it can't. Uh, but still, they have filed an injunction against Twitter, and uh, Twitter has tinkered with the algorithm. Now, the algorithm considers things like sensitive content to include graphic images, hate speech, as well as not safe for work. So even though like it's a completely different category, uh, now you can get your account uh, completely suppressed to the point where no one interacts with it, if you do not say for work, like you're, you're literally treated the same like a terrorist. Like, I mean, this is the, the modern American culture. And I think like the reason you have it is because it's a mismatch between the morality that people used to have 10 years ago with the morality that people have today. So like 10 years ago, violent content was fine. I remember even at law school, we had a conversation uh, whether or not extremist content should be allowed on social media. And the answer was yes, because people have to see the grotesque. People have to see the horror in order to realize how bad it is. 
so that they can start combating it, so that they take it seriously. Uh, that was the morality back then. Now it's, no, you shouldn't see any sort of violent content, even if you're an adult, even if you consent, it should be restricted from you. Like, I guess only the most enlightened members of our government, like, if you want to see that content, you need to join the government, I guess, um, while sexuality is fine, right? And back then it was like sexuality wasn't. But now they mismatched because of what, what's happening here with the algorithm, and Rolling Stones is freaking out because it's affecting, uh, I, I, I suppose, uh, not safe for work creators that, that are actual human beings. It, it's affecting uh, uh, the LGBTQ activists that are posting um, sometimes various uh, lewd pictures. 